In this video, we're going to show you to install the upstream O2 sensor on your Toyota Tundra, located just beyond the exhaust manifold. So right here we have our upstream O2 sensor. It comes down to this connector. Now the connector itself is attached to a little metal bracket. We're going to use our pick to release the little lock tab on this and pull the connector off the bracket. It's a little bit easier to work with once we have this released. We use a pair of pliers to press on the tab on the top of the connector. And then disconnect the O2 side of the harness. Now with the connector disconnected, follow the wire up and we can locate the upstream O2 sensor right here. It's just in front of the flange. Now on our particular O2 sensor, it is kind of stuck in the exhaust. So we are heating this up to go ahead and uh, hopefully loosen this rust up a little bit. And then we will transition to our O2 sensor split socket with our ratchet to go ahead and break those threads free. It's nice if you can get to both sides of this O2 sensor with the heat. And when you're working underneath this, you definitely want to wear eye protection. So now that we have the threads broken on the O2 sensor here, we'll go ahead and remove this tool that's on there. I'm gonna switch over one that has a little more clearance. Remove that sensor. Now our new O2 sensor has some anti-seize compound on the threads. It also has a crush washer on it as well. That's gonna help it seat properly. I wanna go ahead and line this up and start to thread it in. One of the key things when installing an O2 sensor is that as you're twisting it in, you wanna make sure that the wire harness does not bind up and it spins with the sensor. You don't want these wires that are going into the back to bind, twist, and break. So rotate the harness with the sensor as you install. Now I wanna make sure when we put this in that the crush washer seats, you can actually feel it crushing underneath the O2 sensor and the manifold. And you're gonna get to a point where that O2 sensor just does not want to move anymore. You're pretty much well seated at that point. And we're there, just gonna give it a little bit more. And that's it. Go ahead and remove the tool. Now we'll take our sensor connector here. Go ahead and line that up. And press that in. You wanna make sure that that is fully seated and locked into place. Now you can feel it. And, give, and I gave this a good tug and it's not separating so we know that our sensor is connected. Now at this point here, your upstream O2 sensor is in. You wanna repeat that process for the driver's side if you need to. Be sure to clear any check engine light codes and then go ahead and take the vehicle for a road test. At that point there, you should be all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.